Hey, Gary here with you, Day 44 AI Blogging. We're going to jump right into Groove Blog. We are focused on the keyword Neutron Star Fun Facts. We filled in everything here. We got a featured image. We added our post slug, and we've also added the category Space Fun Facts. We got this keyword from running a report inside of Rank IQ. Then we filled in to Koala Rider from the content analysis, the topics, Google likes in post. You can see here that Koala Rider has written us our post and we're going to be adding this into Blog here in a second. But there's one thing that is fascinating, not so much, but the fact that the word fascinating again keeps reappearing. But if I click details, I want to show you inside of the extra section prompt I've actually told it, do not use the word fascinating anywhere or in a section at least. Understand that the extra section prompt may not apply to the title, but the word fascinating appears in the introduction and it also appears in the first section. I'm going to open up a case or a trouble ticket with Koala because if I put in the extra section prompt, do not use the word fascinating, I would hope that just like if I was in chat GPT and I gave chat GPT the instruction inside of a chat, do not use the word fascinating. If it used it, then I would be upset because it's not following my instructions. But at this point, we do have our blog post. And again, we are using GPT 3.5 here simply because of the credit issue with Koala. And I think it's pretty much a fact now. And people understand that GPT 4 does a better job of writing, does a better job of everything when it comes to OpenAI and GPT, GPT 3.5 versus GPT 4. But we have our blog post, so we're gonna copy that. We're gonna go back to Groove Blog. Of course, we added in our title, and then this is the H1 or the heading one, which is the keyword. And then we're just gonna hit enter or add a carriage return and then paste in the blog post. Then at this point, we're just left going through to do the edits. And we'll go ahead and do that. But what I want to do here is I want to copy this and I want to go into Koala Chat real quick. And then I want to add this into Koala Chat. And it looks like it took the entire text. And we're going to go ahead here and we're going to use our response manager and we're going to copy that. And we're going to paste this in here because we want an SEO excerpt. So we're going to see if Koala Chat can do this for us. And you can see here, your input is too long. Please shorten it and try again. So this is a limitation of Koala Chat versus using Chat GPT. So at this point, what we will do, we will scroll up here and we will see if we can get it to write something. You have real time data here. That's not going to be like a plugin or the web browse Chat GPT. So instead of fighting that limitation, we'll just go to Chat GPT Plus because we have it. And we will go back to Koala Writer and we will click on that. We will copy that blog post in its entirety and go back to ChatGPT Plus and paste in the entire blog post. Hit send. And then you can see that now we have an excerpt. So you can see here in ChatGPT Plus, we don't have the limitation of the number of characters like we had over in Koala Writer. So we will take that excerpt and we will paste that in. And now we have that. And then we can save that draft or save that draft. And then we have our post here. But at this point, again, all we need to do is come in and clean this up. I'm actually looking forward to when this is updated. This meaning Groove Blog, they're actually going to start accepting markdown. So we'll be able to copy and paste from directly inside of chat GPT when it writes in markdown or we have it right in markdown. We'll just be able to come here and hit copy and then paste it into group blog like we're doing here because currently we can't do that. It doesn't accept it. The editor for group blog doesn't accept markdown, but for some reason or somehow, it does take it from the Koala Rider interface. And then all we have to do is just come in here and pretty it up with a few carriage returns, which as you can see, I have now completed. So we have a little bit of spacing. It looks a little nicer there. It doesn't look like a robot 
wrote it, <laughs> or it doesn't look like a robot copied and pasted it, pasted it into the blog editor. As you've probably seen some posts for these low competition keywords, if you've ever done any blogging and you've looked at low competition keywords, things that rank sometimes are very, very thin and sometimes they are formatted very, very poorly. So we have that, we'll save our draft and we will go ahead and click publish. And then we will exit and save. And you can see here, Neutron Star Fun Facts, discover the fascinating world. The fascinating world of these incredible celestial objects is live and ready to rock. We'll go back to Koala and copy this post. And we'll pop back into Rank IQ because I want to go into the Content Optimizer and I'm going to paste that in and get a score. You can see here the score is just an A. Come over to the unused keywords. All these keywords have been unused. So I can either take these keywords over to Koala Writer or over to ChatGPT Plus and try to use them. I've done this in the past where I have enhanced the conclusion and then I'll get a better grade up here. So if I was to just copy these, go back to Koala, go inside of Koala Chat and paste those keywords in there and then add a carriage return, go back to Rank IQ, grab the conclusion and copy that and then paste that in and then give it the instructions scroll up here please rewrite this conclusion and include all of these keywords and we will go ahead and see what it comes up with you can see it's right in here neutron stars which are formed from the core of massive star after a supernova explosion are some of the densest and most compact objects in the universe and it's still writing so once it finishes writing that we will then copy that and take it back over and check our score inside of the rank iq optimizer and it's finished writing so we'll go ahead and copy that text in we'll go back to rank iq and we will highlight that and leave our in conclusion and add in conclusion neutron stars and you can see our grade here has gone to an a plus plus scroll up here unused there still are some unused words Typically, these are not, not being used. They're just not an exact match and Rank IQ doesn't pick them up. But you can see we have a grade A++. We are a little bit off on the word count by about 400 words, but I think that will be okay. But what we need to do now is grab this conclusion before I forget and copy that. Take it back to Grooblog, open up the editor, scroll down to the conclusion and paste that in and now we have to hit publish again and we have updated that conclusion to make sure that our blog post here for the keyword neutron star fun facts has a grade of an a plus plus so back to group blog go ahead exit make sure we save that after we hit published again and we can see there that we have all of our blog posts inside of Groove Blog, and we're tracking along here as we head to day 100. If you got any questions, comments, let me know in the comments of this video. If you're having fun, let me know that too with a thumbs up on this video, and I'll see you in the next update. Bye.